Hey there, lovely soul. This is Infinity and welcome to the Cancer April Full Moon for 2021 Tarot and Oracle reading. We're going to get into it with the uh, Moonology card here. But if you're unfamiliar with me, I'm Infinity, shaman, mystic, medical medium, psychic, physical empath, distance energy, healer, medium, channel, astral meditation guide, messenger, and divinely guided artist. And I work um, via Zoom with my animal and human clients worldwide. So please check out thehealingbutterfly.org for information about me and what I can do for you and your family. And without further ado, let's get into your reading. Oh, one more thing. I have a special for mediumship and information will be down below. Um, very special for Mother's Day for mediumship. So if you're interested in that, please don't hesitate. Don't delay um, on getting your spot today. Okay, so let's get into it. Cancer, we have a win-win outcome is forecast so interesting a win-win forecast is or outcome is forecast so uh maybe some kind of partnership or something like that coming up i want to get into the angel tarot and this is just the um the major arcana of the angel tarot that I pulled out. And this is what I was guided to do for this reading and, and a couple other ones prior to this. So, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. <laughs> Let's try that again. Let's see what we get here. And so the major arcana are just the archangels. We have the wheel with Archangel Michael, a time of positive change. A situation suddenly moves forward. Fortune is on your side. So two of these, um, you know, positive outlook type cards. The wheel, things are moving forward. Positivity of an outcome. So I like that. Yep, we're just getting one of those. Now let's move to the Archangel Oracle. Whoa, that was quick healthy lifestyle let's see what else we got i'm hearing you need to keep your busy things you're working on projects and planning and partners and so i feel busyness here but we need to stay focused with the body crystal clear intentions and one more here two more here okay so we got healthy lifestyle with Archangel Raphael. Eat a healthful diet, get adequate sleep, and exercise regularly for optimum health. So pay attention to your health, your energy, your sleep cycle. Um, are you sleeping enough? I don't think so. <laughs> Um, and then crystal clear intentions with Michael, be clear about what you desire and focus on it with unwavering faith. So no doubts I'm hearing, don't have doubts. Don't let any fear come in or creep in, work on what you need to work on. Don't let distractions and other things and worry about how everything's going to turn out clearly we have a really good outcome here comfort with Azriel. i am with you in your time of need helping your heart to heal so if you're also kind of still licking wounds from something um Azriel, um is and your guardian angel i'm um, coming through here saying um there's still healing taking place. So don't disregard that for, you know, a lot of times we can get into busy mode to avoid dealing with things that need to be healed. So make sure that, that that's not going on. Take back your power with Raziel. Use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings into your life. So crystal clear intentions with Michael. Raziel saying take back your power. Um, I 
your thoughts are very, very potent and powerful. Everybody's are, but but recognize your mood, your energy. Um, remember, this is all really, really good here. It's talking to um, good partnerships. Something, something happening here. It's going to be balanced out. We have this full moon and Libra energy with the scales. So balancing out energy. The wheel is saying forward movement. Um, what did this say here? Uh, fortune is on your side. Have your crystal clear intentions. Take back your power. So this is all very um, powerful energy here. Um, where are we going? Let's get into... Let's get into tarot, Cancer. Let's see what we get here. Let's get some more insight for you. So I feel like this is something to do with business or a creative project with somebody. That, that there is a... there. I do feel that this involves other people um, and that you may be apprehensive about going forward, about aligning yourself with somebody else, but it does feel more business than like love or relationship. Whoa, <laughs> it's been really hard to keep cards in my hands lately <laughs> and out of the fire <laughs> there we go use my crystals to help me really needing a lot of shuffling here First card, Four of Cups in reverse, the Star in reverse, Strength in reverse, wow. The Magician right side up, Ten of Cups right side up, not surprised to see that, and Ace of Wands right side up. Okay, let me just check in here and make sure that these right side up cards or reverse cards stay this way. Okay. They are staying where they're where they are. So we have four of cups in reverse. That's what it looks like right side up. But we're in reverse. We have the star in reverse. That's what it looks like straight up. But we're in reverse. We have the strength card actually coming out in reverse. That's how it is straight up. No, actually. Okay, that's why I keep actually putting it straight up. It's supposed to be straight up. I take it back. It's supposed to be straight up. The Magician, straight up. Ten of Cups, straight up. There's that Your Abundance card. And Ace of Wands, straight up. So, a lot of ideas, abundance coming through here. Happiness, fortune, definitely. Here in the in the front side, we have your four of cups. She is kind of confused, contemplative. She doesn't know what she has. She's thinking about the past. Um, but she's also, this is in reverse. And so it's telling me that you are, like that was more your station, but you're coming out of that. Like you are believing that this is going to work out, that that in all of that stuff. But the star is in reverse. And so um, excuse me. I can tend to yawn when I start receiving information sometimes. Um, not seeing like the total picture, like there's still something blocked blocked here for you but you're persevering you're like I I have faith anyway I'm going forward I'm strong I believe that I am 
protected or guided and stuff and you are you are tapping and you are receiving this magician is about abundance and about manifestation and about um tapping in with higher level information and understanding whoa oh excuse me Ten of Cups, very abundant, happy, win-win type of energy. Ace of Wands, we're connecting. Um, and I'm feeling this kind of creative influence also here. So maybe your business has something to do with creativity um, or the arts in some way. Um Maybe it's partnering up with other artists or something like that. I'm not sure exactly. Um, but let's get into the archetype. This is the tools, uh, cards for the archetype oracle. Not the places, not the selves, not the initiations or the themes. This is the tools that I was guided to um, just use for this are these readings here and you got the gem the gem so let's read about the gem page 177 okay the diamond, the gold, the inner treasure. There are infinite names for the gem. It is also known as the jewel, the star, the talent, the gift, the gold. One thing for certain is that it is found deep within a substance that is very much unlike it. For example, a diamond in the rough. The gem always stands in contrast. Wow. Holy moly. The gem always stands in contrast to its surroundings. You can't find it when you are among comforts and pleasure and pleasantries precious stones develop slowly deep in the earth amid pressure and darkness discovering the gem requires a decent a descent beneath the surface where there is no definitive map yet the longing to touch the true gem within us is so strong that we cannot help but seek out its radiance your gem, like your destiny, is unlike any other in the entire world. Keep digging. And when light, unique, shining, generative, irreplaceable. And when dark, envy, greed, and grasping. Okay, so there's definitely something here. Um, we're, I mean, we talk about win-win. We have, we have the, the wheel. We have this crystal clear intentions. We have the gem. So you're definitely on the right track here with whatever you're up to, Cancer. Whatever you are, are working on, partnering with, whatever business idea you have that you're thinking of or, or is in the stages. Maybe it's just the planning stages. Maybe it's just the project stages. Maybe things aren't actually you know, that close to, you know, budding into blooming into fruition. And, but it's the beginning stages where there's still, you know, things get are getting sorted out. You're still getting to know what it's all about or who's all involved. And so there's still a little bit of this like unknown energy. Um, but, but the gem mentioned the star. We have the star here, but remember it's in reverse. So it's like, it's still underneath. It's still hidden. It hasn't, it hasn't come up into reality yet, but it's there. The star is here. The gem is here. Take back your power. It's like, don't, don't, don't mistrust. Don't, don't fear. Don't, don't hold back. Don't deny yourself from dreaming, from um, uh, from you know, literally not allowing doubt or fear to be a factor, and just going forward. Going forward is what I'm, I'm feeling here. Don't stop. 
um, don't let doubt, don't let other people, don't let um, fear of other people or what, whatever it is, whatever it is, you, you are to, to do <laughs> this initiation coming out from the chair from the crystal uh oracle here told to get more initiation healer coming out reflection okay Got a few cards here, starting with Sacred Sight, Initiation, and uh, Phenocyte is your crystal, so Initiation. So Initiation speaks to going through a process, a ritual, going from this to that kind of thing. Um, you got the Healer card. Shama, with Shaman, Healer, um, with new might being the crystal then we got intention with pyrite and the staff then we have reflection with winter and rhodonite card number 22 reflection and then we have beauty with autumn so you have winter and autumn so we're we're what I'm getting here, I'm seeing the calendar. But anyway, autumn with Aldalite, if I'm hopefully pronouncing that right, with autumn. So we have winter and autumn here. Interesting. Um, feels like these are coming through not only to say, you know, this is coming. You're going to see things kind of coming into, into fruition maybe here in the winter and autumn and know that there is beauty ahead reflection intention healer and initiation initiation and intention so again we have intention coming out twice here with crystal clear intentions with archangel michael this is a very powerful card this is saying whatever it is that you're working on that you're doing to really focus be very clear about what you want to have happen and how you're going to go about doing it. And you have it again with intention and that staff there with the, um, with pyrite. I love pyrite. Um, pyrite is really reflective. It's shiny. It's glimmery. Um, and healer. So kind of back to, you know, the doubts and the fears and stuff like that, because we all experience that, especially when we're starting something new, especially with new people, stuff we haven't done before. Um, those types of things or it'll bring up things, you know, self-doubt, you know, imposter syndrome, judgment, of course, fear of failure, all of that stuff. And those things are just energy. And when you it's like. Um, okay, like how PTSD works. It's like that's, they are, those are energies that are literally like branded in the energy field of a body. And when anything happens that is even remotely close to that situation, could be a noise, a sound, a, a vibration, whatever, it triggers the person because it's like, the energy within you so if you have experiences of fear of failure of shame of judgment of guilt because things didn't work out or you witnessed even maybe a parent um if you were a child and you witnessed somebody you know trying stuff and losing stuff or or failing or you know kind of doing that sort of thing then that could be literally within your very chemistry of your body and what comes up is that like 
um, I keep seeing like a, a roller coaster. It's like that like free fall feeling like, oh no, I'm going to lose everything. Like it's like that sort of thing. It's like you even anticipate it happening. Like if you're on a roller coaster, if you go on rides, it's like you know it's coming. So you start to feel that already because you've maybe been there before. It's like when you've already been in these situations, it brings up um memories and the energy within you that's of that like nature starts to activate within the body so it's really helpful especially if you're working on new projects if you're trying to manifest a new future if you're you know putting together a business and partnerships and stuff like that you want to be as clear as healthy as released from negative energy and experiences of the past so clearing um Cutting energy cords. I have a an ebook on my website, the importance of uh, cord cutting. Please read that along with the and do the meditation, the companion meditations that come with it. It's all free on my website, um, and uh, as well as seeking out deeper energy healing and clearing with somebody um, like myself or or somebody else that you're guided to to help you really release a lot of this density that's that just won't leave it's like until you decide to dig for that for that gem it's gonna stay there so until you decide to dig out the negativity the negative energies that we all just layer upon layer upon layer throughout our lives um stick and especially if you're an empath and a light worker we tend to take on more than the average person and it tends to sit in us and that's why i was chronically ill for 40 years with fibromyalgia because as a psychic physical empath a medical medium i wasn't aware of what i was doing and i was accumulating all of this energy it made me literally extremely chronically ill so um once i released that energy it was pretty very quickly and miraculous because i was guided to that to because i am what i am but the average person you're guided to healing in different ways to help you release this energy and this message is coming through very strong so whether it's me or somebody else please seek out this healing so we will help you with your with what you're trying to manifest because you have this is it's like go ahead go ahead go ahead yes 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 but we need reflection we need intention we need initiation from our from our current to our future um we need to seek out healing and and being in a new dimension for ourselves holy moly but this is really really great really amazing um energy here for you uh cancer whatever it is that you're thinking of doing or creating partnering up with you have full support you have the go ahead it is it is going to be a really good thing you have the wheel you have the ten of cups the ten of cups is such a happy abundant like everything is look at this card everything's worked out we're happy we've got all that we need our family is happy we're set we're content i'm getting emotional whoo i don't usually feel that with that card but this wave of energy just came through that was it's really happy it's so happy oh my god whoo it's very very <laughs> happy very abundant very family oriented very very rich very like oh my god this is amazing this is what we created it's making me so emotional holy shit and the support you have for this is really awesome really awesome support here um you have it they're showing me this diamond in the earth they're like this is waiting to come out so you've got to do this and go and connect to whomever you're being guided to connect to to make this happen because it's a it's something pretty awesome <laughs> whatever it is i wish i knew what it was but anyway cancer more power to you manifest clear intentions healing you're on your way it's gonna happen for you just put in the work i mean you can't just sit in your recliner and wait for it to happen you've got to put in the work it's gonna be work you're gonna be putting through a lot of work don't forget Raphael saying 
don't forget, tell them, take your time, self-love, take breaks. Don't be such a go-getter that you're not taking care of yourself. Because if you break down, again, healthy lifestyle and healer, he's reminding me of this connection too. He's also who I work with in my healings. He's the one that comes in that does um, my second phase of my Evolve Now program and works with people in really, really deep healing. So so yeah that's definitely coming up and once you put all these components together you're just gonna be golden can i say cancer so have a beautiful full moon activate with all these energies um don't forget to come back for your may monthly reading i'll be putting up soon again don't forget to go to my website check things out there for yourself and i also have a special going on with my mediumship um service for mother's day through the 15th of may so check that out um book your appointment sooner than later if you feel the call to connect with any of your loved ones or ancestors from your past um that is something i absolutely love to do and um that you know could definitely help you helps everybody who's um who's being who's guided to that um and other than that more power to you good luck with everything sending you lots of loving vibrations to do whatever it is that you're meant to do with this because you have the full support of the divine and myself so until next time infinite love and blessings bye for now